Greetings, everyone, and welcome to today's virtual meditation on the lawn. Uh, my name is Anthony DiMauro. I um, am a staff member at the Contemplative Sciences Center, and I work with the Dalai Lama Fellows Program. I'll be your meditation facilitator today. Um, just some brief framing around the practice we're going to do. Uh, it's, uh, I call it a benefactor practice. Um, and really what we're going to be doing is calling to mind um, some benefactor that we've had um, in our life. So somebody who has been a source of love or, or care, um, someone who has been a pretty reliable source of that. And it could be, uh, you know, a person, uh, you know, a family member, a friend, a romantic partner, um, a teacher, it, it could be a, a, a pet, you know, or, or um, perhaps even some other being um, could be, you know, you could call to mind just, you know, nature and the abundant ways it cares for us, or perhaps um, some deity that uh, you have a loving relationship with. So really no limits on that source of love and care. Um, but with this meditation, we're going to um, bring them into, um, you know, invite them into this meditation with us. And really the only thing we have to do is um, imagine that they are sharing that love, sending that love and care to us as, as they typically do. And we're just here to receive it. We're just here to open up to um, their love and care and, and really see how much of it we can receive, see how much we can connect with it and um, really just kind of soak in it. Okay, so um, that's, that's what we're gonna be doing and I'll provide guidance um, throughout. So I invite you to find a comfortable posture for this meditation, you're welcome to close your eyes. That's gonna help you focus and connect. You're welcome to keep them open and just lower your gaze a bit. And then I'll invite you to start by just taking a few deep breaths. And then you can allow the normal pace of your breathing to return and continue throughout the practice. And then we'll take a few moments just to arrive in the practice, in our bodies. And so to do this, if we can just imagine that our attention and awareness is kind of moving, dropping down from that mental cognitive brain space where we spend so much time and just sort of dropping down into the feeling body. So maybe just connecting with some of the sensations that you have available to you, whether it's feeling your feet on the floor, some sense of connection to whatever you're seated on, Maybe just feeling your body taking up some space. Allowing yourself to drop into those sensations of the body. Then we'll move into this portion of the practice where we are calling to mind, calling to heart, 
that benefactor, that person, that being that has been a reliable source of love and care. And so you might visualize that person, that being in your mind's eye, or you might just have some felt sense of being in their presence. Take a moment to call them in and connect in whatever way feels right for you. And then once we establish that connection, the next invitation is to imagine that they are offering their love and care. And here again, might be different ways they do that. Maybe it's some words or a gesture or just their, their loving gaze might be enough. Take a few moments to just imagine that that's happening. Or even feel that that's happening. And as that continues, see if you can open up to it more and more. Just receive it as fully as possible. If you're noticing any barriers or challenges to receiving that love, that's okay. That happens. And it's important to just take note of those barriers that you don't need to, at least within this practice, spend too much time sorting them out. And just take note, sort of set them aside for now and just come back to that intention to receive. So just continue opening up and imagining that benefactors love and care are just sort of pouring into you. If needed, you might remember or imagine reliving some time when 
they really showed up for you. And they really offered their genuine care. You can sort of recall that moment and allow yourself to, again, just receive. Just be held in their care. And just take a few more moments to abide or soak in that loving care that you conjured up in this practice. And set aside that opening or receiving and now just abide. Just be with whatever you're feeling. Then to close out this practice, maybe a final thing we can do is just offer this benefactor some gratitude. Taking a moment to really appreciate the source of love and care in our lives. even that act of receptivity to their gifts of love and care is brings us into sacred relationship with them. And then you can take your time to just slowly transition out of this practice. Maybe with the intention to just remember and keep in mind that you are loved and cared for. It might be a simple act of recalling or remembering that will help you revisit that feeling and carry it with you throughout the day. And so that is the end of today's uh, meditation on the lawn. We hope you join us again next week for another session. Thanks for practicing with me.